Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, some breaking news in the weather department, and that is a new tropical storm. Erica has formed in the Atlantic. I'll show you a satellite picture in just a second. Let's switch over to live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. And for now, it's quiet. We've got a few scattered showers and storms left-hand side of your TV set with an approaching cold front. And as mentioned, that is our next weather maker for... A Tuesday. And notice, I mean, this is not a solid area. It's hit and miss. So it's going to be the kind of situation where one town may get a heavier shower or a thunderstorm where the next town over doesn't get anything. So it's, it's kind of random, but the risk is there. Of course, the humidity very high right now. That'll continue. The dew point's very high. And that moist air will continue into uh, tomorrow, muggy, and then a drop big time. And the dew point on Wednesday is drier, more comfortable air starts to work in. In Providence, we are partly to mostly cloudy now, 71. The wind is calm. The humidity very high in both of these conditions are usually a tip off that some low clouds and fog will be forming uh, during the overnight early tomorrow morning. Hello, Smithfield. You are mild right now with the temperature coming in at 72. Most areas right now are in the uh, upper 60s to lower 70s. Uh, Coventry is at 70, Westerly at 69, and uh, Newport comes in at 73. So here's the setup, the weather players that I'm tracking right now, which includes this cold front in upstate New York. What this blue line represents is the, is the leading edge of drier air. So everything on this side of the front, the air is dry and comfortable. On the other side, very humid and muggy. As the front draws closer, chances of scattered showers and thunderstorms increasing on Tuesday. But again, hit and miss, not every spot getting one. Let me show you the temps overnight. They'll stay mild, upper 60s to low 70s. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., 73. A little bit of sunshine gets to work. We warm up seasonably to about 82, 83 degrees. But with a south breeze, uh, the coastline slightly cooler in the mid-70s. And then by tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock in the upper 70s. And then later tomorrow night, low 70s. So remaining very mild. We'll start with low clouds and fog tomorrow morning, thinning out to hazy sun, 11 a.m., 81, an isolated passing shower, though I think a slightly higher chance tomorrow afternoon, especially late day, early evening. Again, the key words here, hit and miss, not everyone getting one, but the risk is there for at least a strong thunderstorm. All right, Florida, New England, way up here. This is the central Atlantic, far away, newly formed tropical storm Erica. Winds of only 45, the long range forecast taking it as a tropical storm near the Dominican Republic and the Bahamas by the early part of the weekend. Um, WPRI.com just finished typing up a blog on that storm. Poor visibility on the bay tomorrow, especially in the morning. Boaters, be mindful of the risk of lightning. Beaches have fog in the morning and just a brief shower. Air temperature 78 and the water temp is warm at 75. Seven day future cast Wednesday starts a string of gorgeous weather right through the weekend. Low humidity, sunshine, and pleasant temps. Daytime highs, upper 70s, low 80s, and nights are in the 60s. Keep an eye to the sky tomorrow. Not every hour of the day and not every location will feature a thunderstorm, but the risk is there at least scattered. We'll just get through that, and then the week will be great. There you All go. Right. Thank you, Tony. <laughs>